Hey everyone, um, I'm so excited uh, to get to this today. I um, want to thank uh, Sherry and Tommy um, out of the Houston area um, for referring this company to us. This is a Saker um, mini electric chainsaw. And so we're going to open it up. Um, it comes with the full gamut of everything that it needs. We'll see how long it takes to maybe charge up if we even have to do that. Um, but I had actually had this on my Christmas list um, for Michael. So I'm so excited that we get to try this out. Because um, I like to be able to do some of the low-level trimming and stuff like that. Michael's the guy that gets up on the ladder and does the higher stuff. Um, but, you know, I don't get to do much other than pick up the rubble. So now I get to actually do part of the work. Um, so we're going to unpack this and see what it looks like. Looks like everything's in there. Looks like everything's in there. Yeah, actually the box kind of shows you everything. I mean, everything's included, including the little um, screwdriver and wrench and so on like that. So we'll see how easy it is to put it all together. Packed very nicely. Battery. The recharge plug. You'll have to tell uh, me about Chain that. oil. Okay, chain oil. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And there's the device in itself. And the wrench. And the screwdriver. Okay, so putting the battery in and proper way is this way. Um, I initially was picking it up this way, but it's apparently this way. Um, safety button over here, and then it's got the finger grip where you can um, get it. To work. And it's already charged. Wow. Come to us. That's so you, your thumb is on the safety button. You have to push that first. Yeah. I try to push that and it doesn't, so you push that It's got that a in. little hand guard too. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go test it. So, uh, do we got to put oil or anything? Yeah, we'll put some oil on the chain. Okay. All right, guys, it comes with a little bit of oil, you, but you can use bar and chain oil, but I'm just going to go ahead and drip some of that down in the gear system. And as you, it'll oil the chain. That should be good. All right. Guys, the chain is already adjusted properly. If you need to, you can take this wrench, loosen it up, um, adjust the chain. Uh, then there's some screws in there as well too, but it, it's already adjusted when it came in the box. So as you saw, and it loosens up, you can readjust the chain. Okay, I'm gonna start with something hopefully a little bit easier. We've got some low line growth from the red tip fatinias here, and then we'll move on to some stuff that might be a little bit thicker and see how well this thing does. So. Be careful. Seems to be doing pretty good. I'm still, I think I'm still kind of learning how to keep it steady because some of the branches look like they're kind of ripping a little bit, but this is me learning to use a chainsaw. Yeah. Maybe a bigger, thicker one. Let's try that one right there. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah, much better. Okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> of it. Um, yeah, these, these are kind of wobbly you know yeah I'm liking it so far all right Are you helping I'm getting better. Okay. okay, now we're gonna try some of the sunflower stalks um, that we need to kind of get rid of so we can clean up the area um, and get it going for the winter. So these are a little bit thicker. Yeah. Um, let's start with this one. Wow. 
Did a good job. Yeah, pretty easy cut. Okay, now this one's a thicker one, so. Wow. All right, this is the, the bigger one. About an inch and a half, two inches in diameter. Watch that rock, too. Nice. Nice. She's addicted to work. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good tool for you. Got stuck. It's all right. Here, let me let me move the branch. There you go. Sometimes the blade will get stuck, sandwiched in there. All right, guys. Here in Texas, we have cedar, a juniper tree. It's one of the hardest trees around. You know, once it dries, we've had what fence posts all around Texas that have been around for over 100 years. So we're gonna go ahead and this Rochelle is gonna cut this. Just different texture wood and yeah. thickness, and let's see how this. Okay. Up so far, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very excited. Be careful. Hold the, your left hand. There you go. Just let, let this all do the work. I think this is too thick. No, no, keep it. Just let the saw do the work. Don't move it around. Just keep it in one place. There you go. Awesome. That's a pretty hard wood right there. Okay, so hopefully we gave a, at least a brief demo on how this works. I'm I'm very impressed. Very excited. Um, safety obviously is is something that uh, you should be prepared for from the very beginning. Um, I'm definitely learning. Mike was giving me some tips along the way. I also noticed I've got this strap. I was really worried about like if something got caught and I realized, ah, duh, use the strap, right? Um, also, eh, battery charge um, <laughs> here. Um, it will kind of tell you um, what the charge level is, it looks like. Um, obviously giving you a chance to, you know, kind of get it charged and stuff like that. But I'm really impressed. So I'm very, very thankful um, to Sherry and Tommy, not only kind of referring this company to us and letting us give it a shot. And um, thank you, Saker, for letting us um, sort of be able to kind of look at what, what we can do when it comes to, you know, gardening um, around our homes and mini homesteads and so on like that. Um, I'm going to look forward to the rest of the work that I get to do, really and truly, um, because I've got something now I can work with. So. We'll put the link down below. We'll also put the link to Tommy and Sherry's homestead website. Take care folks. God bless.